The Neptunes are arguably the greatest production duo of all time, and their sound defined the late 90s and early 2000s. With hits such as this, when the pimps in the crib, ma, drop it like it's hot, and this. The pair were added to the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2022. They have worked with a variety of artists from Justin Timberlake to Snoop Dogg to Madonna and helped shape each individual artist's sound. From meeting in a Virginia band class, here is how the Neptunes became the best production duo in the world. Let's start with the 2002 Grammy winning hit Hot In Here by Nelly. The song opens up with this Rhodes and these timpani drums. This then leads to this iconic drop. Oh. These simple Rhodes chords and guitar strum make up the main melody. In this video, you will see I use this plugin a lot, Triton. This was signature of the Neptunes during this era. These super bouncy syncopated drums are then added by Pharrell. During the verse, these guitar strums are taken out just to keep the beat moving. One of the main secrets behind the Neptune's success is their skills beyond the beat making. An example of this is the songwriting credits they have on this track. This song is two times platinum and remains a Neptune's classic to this day. It's getting hot in here. Next, we will move to the Neptune's debut album and biggest song from it, Fronting, featuring Jay-Z. This track was the first time Pharrell had taken a lead vocal on a song. Interestingly, the song was written and produced for Prince. I've tried for years to make records for him. My first attempt at making a record with him was Fronting. Man, that was me pretending to be him. I was like trying. That's why the... Pharrell said he often channels artists to make certain songs. And do you make tracks regardless of thinking about where they're going to go? Sometimes I think about where they're going to go to get them out. I have to channel. I'm always pretending I'm someone else in order to get it to come out. The song starts with these jazz chords, of course in a signature four count. This bass then adds the low end with the Rhodes playing on the offbeat. Only three drums are added throughout the track, and these are based on the drums in this Beatles song. Places I remember. During the hook, these other melodic elements are added. therefore making the song keep moving and more exciting. This then drops back into the verse before going into a Neptune's signature bridge. Some strings and an e-piano bass is added over some new chords. This is then just repeated over for the rest of the track and marks the start of a successful artist career for Pharrell. Lastly, let's move on to 2021's Wasting Time by Brent Fires and Drake. This emotional chord progression is played something we know Pharrell loves. I think I get blown away by chord progressions that make me feel something I've never felt before. and this new style of Pharrell's signature drums are introduced. The track then evolves featuring this busy 808 pattern and vocal sound. This signals the hook in the track. In the second verse, a string lead is added, making it sound like a bridge.
This is then just repeated over. For a more in-depth look, all these FLPs will be on my Patreon. What really makes the Neptune Super Producers is their involvement in the songs from writing lyrics, to adding vocals, to helping with structuring and the curating of songs, all allowing for the artist to make their best work possible. Pharrell has said he likes to feel high off music. I really want to feel it. I want to get high off the music, man. I want my body to fucking feel something. For beat one, let's make a funky early 2000s style beat. I started with the signature Neptune sounds, playing these syncopated jazz chords alongside this funky bass. These simple drums then lead to a signature Neptune style bounce. I used two kicks as Chad Hugo does in this clip. Use two different kicks, one is the grace note and one is the main kick. For the hook, these other melodic elements are brought in. I did this classic Neptune style bridge, which features new chords and instruments. Before transitioning back into the original beat. This is then repeated over, giving this beat a classic Justin Timberlake style vibe. For beat two, I went for a more modern Neptune sound featuring these strings and this Wurlitzer. I added this modern inspired Pharrell style drums. And for the chorus, I added these other simple melodic accents. I kept the 808 busy like in these tracks. Who keep them honest like us? Who in alignment like us? Champagne, super soaker screaming, who got this? and used it as more of a melodic element to the beat. And for the bridge, I sampled these drums and this vocal from Tracklib. These drums even come with the BPM, so it allows us to time stretch it perfectly to the track. This vocal comes with the key as well, so it was easy to translate to the beat. Today's video is sponsored by Tracklib. Tracklib is an online record store featuring over 100,000 previously released records, which is constantly getting updated with new style samples, new tracks. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a slightly different version of how I use Tracklib through sampling vocals and some drums. The diverse of sounds on Tracklib is incredible. It is the go-to place for sampling. I'll have my sign-up link in the description which gets you a one-month free trial and 15 free credits. Go check that out after this video and let's get back into it. Along with these jazz chords, something we know Chad Hugo loves. What made you like fusing the harder down with the beautiful chords? The thing that did it for me for a Tribe Called Quest was their music, their love for jazz. Yeah, yeah. Again, I added this signature Neptune steam effect. One of the first people to start using steam sounds for the R&B breakdowns. And I layered some machine drums with these real drums. Something we know the Neptunes do a lot. That was P, man. That was the first time I remember being like, oh wait, you can put sequence drums and live drums mm. together? Mm. The idea is to make music that makes you feel something. ASAP Rocky is another artist who does this. And to find out how, check out this video. Beautiful. 